Oh, Mr. Peterson, you shouldn't have ordered these. They're so strong. I'm getting so lightheaded, I may not be able to look after myself. <laughs> I drink any more, I'll get dizzy. Just rest your lovely little head right on my shoulder. <laughs> Ain't that nice, Zita? Don't they try to take it back? No. <laughs> my, what broad shoulders you have, Mr. Peterson. You're in pretty good shape there yourself. <laughs> She's a lovely big girl. <laughs> I always like girls with little meat in their bones. I'm a Gerona, you find a lot more. You know, it's evenings like this when I think of what a lucky guy I am. Got my health, good friends, still get some of my hair, and now, this. <laughs> Why, me, Mr. Peterson, you don't know anything about me. I know what I like, I like what I see. I'd love to be a fly on the wall when he sees the whole white. <laughs> Don't you think this is going on long enough? We'll know when it's gone on long enough. When? When Pinky comes after me with a club. <laughs> you were meant for me. Would you like to come here? <laughs> Not too long, it'll be in the tenant. Wait a minute. How are we going to do this? Sitting down. <laughs> you like a plane to the melody? Hey, you know, Peggy, you don't see that very often no more, you know? A guy singing romantically to a girl. See what happened? You started to crawl to her, she went straight to the camp. But you know, I need to splash a little water on the face. Cool off there. You have a breathless day. You anybody. I really want to thank you, Arch. Oh, well, this is something new. I never felt like this before. Yeah, but that, that is a shame about, about poor Doris, you know, your sweetheart who loves you. She's going to be broken hearted. Oh, Doris is the same old thing. Beverly is something different. In every way, buddy. Can I see you for a minute? No. Please, I gotta talk to you. Oh, excuse me there, uh, Pinky. Uh, Beverly Edith's got a little pain over here or something. But she, Beverly, has had enough. I think we should go home. This whole thing may come to a beautiful finish any minute, but if it don't and we go home, Two of us go straight upstairs. No corpse or crawlers or nothing. We leave the downstairs to them, see? And we stay up there nice and quiet until Pinky has his heart attack. <laughs> oh, no, no, yes, no, we ain't gonna do wait, that. Wait, Mr. No, 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 Peterson, no, 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 I got something to tell you. It, it, you it see, Archie is playing a joke on you. Go on, uh -huh. tell him, Archie. Tell all right, on, yeah, tell him. yeah, all right, it's a joke. That's right, Pinky, it's a joke. And a joke is on you for a change, and a hell of a joke it is. You mean that Beverly's a guy? Yeah. Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say something to him? Oh, said, I can never catch this guy in this. You can't, Beverly. Oh, you told me you wanted him to have his revenge. You rat. <laughs> Beverly, sweetheart, you're the I'll only girl I ever I love you. I love you. Doris, I thought you was never going to get here. Is this what you mean by going bowling with the boys? Hey, Doris, I can explain everything. Oh, Archie. Archie, you were so right. Thank you for calling me and tipping me off to this. Doris, I couldn't do nothing else. Archie, that was a terrible thing to do. I had to stand by Doris here. Doris, you don't understand. Beverly, explain it to Doris. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Same time tomorrow night, Pinkham. Ah. Doris, 
Beverly isn't a lady. Not if she's out with you, you crumb. Oh, no! Oh, no! He means that she... I mean, he ain't a woman. Yeah, show him, Beverly. <laughs> Should I, Mr. Bunker? Yeah, go ahead, but be careful of the things you show, because we could get locked up here. <laughs> All right. Show <Shut> time! <laughs> Yeah. Man. You see, Doris, I wasn't out with a woman. I was out with a man. <laughs> hey, Doris, you almost...